Hey everyone, this is Aaron, owner of HitchedForFun.com. Thanks for tuning in today. I wanted to do a video about our very popular Starlink RV pole kits that we carry. And they're designed to uh, help you six, uh, safely secure your Starlink Generation 2 dish higher up on your RV or pickup truck that you're trying to attach it to. So our basic pole kit that's made by Pyramid LED Whips comes with two sections. It comes with a top piece that has the adapter built into the top. And then it comes with a, a bottom piece that just is a straight end on the bottom which the top mounts over. If you need more than seven feet, we also carry the optional uh, RV pole extension piece. And these are three foot increments. So if you need three more feet or whatever, you would add three feet at a time. And this goes between the top piece and the bottom piece. Cool thing about these, these are made out of solid steel. They're powder coated for durability um, and they don't flex. One of the things that really attracted us to this pole is the fact that it, it stays stationary. These dishes um, have a motor in them and if you're on a flexible pole and it's moving all the time, you're gonna make that motor keep readjusting, readjusting all the time. These poles hold it steady so you don't end up burning out your um, your dish, the, your expensive dish that you purchased. So, uh, like I said, the basic pole comes with um, the top and the bottom piece. And again, if you need high, more height, uh, they come in three foot sections, those uh, extension pieces. It also comes with the bolts and wing nuts to secure each of the, the pole sections together. And I um, wanted to show you one cool thing with this kit. Um, on your Starlink dish, you have the ability to run the wires. You'll plug it inside, as you know. You'll be able to run it outside of the pole or run it down the center of the pole itself, too, for the cleaner look. And so you simply line up the groove on the pole with the dish itself and lock it in like that. And I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but on the dish, there's this little button. You push that and it's released from the adapter that's built in to the inside of the pole. So it holds it nice and steady um, and it's not gonna twist on the top or accidentally pop off. All right, we have four mount options for you that you can choose from. The basic kit comes with a ladder mount. And what you would do is you would mount this about shoulder or head height on your ladder so that you can, you know, it's mounted here. You can put your pole together with a dish on top and you can reach and insert it right into this ladder mount from the ground. So you don't have to climb the ladder each time. That's terrific. So folks that are using the ladder mount you typically don't need a, an extension with that because when you've got it this high on your coach the seven feet usually gets you above your roof line so you have an un unobstructed view of the sky the, the next mount option is our tire or jack mount and a really cool uh, mount you simply can drive your tire over this and anchor it to the ground and then put your Starlink pole into that mount. Or you can put it under a stabilizer jack and hold it down in the same, same fashion. Obviously this one's lower on the ground so you may need one or two extensions to get it to the height that you need for your dish. And again, that's made out of steel and then powder coated. The next one is our hitch mount same idea it fits a two inch receiver um, and it comes with the, the pin so you can mount your your dish that way okay and then another really slick mount is our what we call a bumper pole or frame mount and so i'll hold that up there it comes with two wings on it and it comes with these back plates and the bolts and nuts and so forth to Put it around a square bumper a four inch we have four five six and seven inch options depending on your frame or bumper size and these back plates that you would put on the back side of the bumper or the frame and then bolt them together 
One other option, some folks like to use this mount and uh, use like carriage bolts or whatever and mount it up against a flat surface like on an eave or a deck railing, different kinds of applications there. Um, and uh, you know, this could go on the on a ramp, anything like that, but that's just another, another option for you. Uh, last tip I wanted to share with you is one of the reasons we really uh, were impressed with the Pyramid Starlink RV pole kit is the fact that it's made out of steel and it doesn't flex. Um, it holds the pole very steady so that the motor that's in your dish doesn't get overworked with the flexing and moving of the dish. And so you're able to hold it at a steady position and not burn out the expensive motor in the very expensive dish you purchase. So I hope this gives you an idea of your options, those four different mounting um, things you can choose from. Uh, the last thing I wanted to share with you is each of these mounts also uh, are the same size as our RV flag poles that we have. So you can use the same mount for, for flying your flagpole at a different event if you don't want to put your Starlink. They're interchangeable. We designed them so that they would all mate up just without any trouble. So if you have any questions, shoot me an email. Um, but I appreciate any of your, your uh, comments and questions. I'm, I'm happy to answer those. And you guys have a great night. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.